Mm, yeah. Mm. Don't you like Italian food? For example, pasta. It's homemade. It's mm, it's so delicious. You can eat it so. And besides pesto, you can make pizza or pasta. All the Italian food with a special taste. You want to taste it again? You can eat it like this on a piece of bread. Mm. Okay, but back to to us, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm eating the whole pesto here. I walked around wrong. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hello, this is Ute and Ken from Ute's Herbal Corner. So, mm, yum, yum. I still have the taste in. <laughs> you should see Ken under the camera. Ding, 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 ding. Um, maybe you um, found it out with my mm, yum, yum tasting and with the decoration here. We are talking today about this wonderful herb. It's called basil. Basil, as I said, you know, all, most of you know it from the Italian cuisine, you say, right? with pizza, pasta, pezzo, pezzo, pesto. <laughs> and you also can make your own um, basil oil for a salad or just when you make in your pan a piece of chicken and you put the basil, past, pasta again, pesto in it. And this is this wonderful taste. I don't know if you know you can how you can make the pesto by your own, but it's very easy. You take fresh basil leaves and you take some pine, um pine pine nuts <laughs> pine nuts yeah here pine nuts and garlic and parmesan cheese and then put it in the food processor and then you have this delicious um pesto but i put it aside otherwise i'm eating the whole thing here what we want to show you today and explain is the difference between basil tincture what i'm making with you together now and basil tea because there is a difference so between tea and capsules and tinctures um, but i will explain it to you later so what i have done here is basil and it's infused for eight weeks or whatever eight weeks, eight weeks now um, in alcohol and then to get the goodies out of the infusion you put it and you know this from other videos you put this in some kind of a linen cloth on the basil leaves the left over from here you can put it in your compost if you have a compost in your backyard so this is the basil tincture as you can see a nice pretty greenish color and yeah it smells like basil and of course it smells like al uh, like alcohol as well because as i said it's infused in vodka um let me close it again so what can you do with a tincture the um, benefits of a tincture here would be um, let's see it's fighting inflammatory in your body um, it can help you with stomach issue um, when you lost your appetite, it can help you. So if you're on a diet, you should not because then you're getting hungry. <laughs> and another good thing of the tincture would be um, if you have kidney issues, so you have some yeah, that you not can go pee as you want to be here. Well, the basil tincture helps you. It's also for head calls, for now the pronunciation, warts, 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 yeah. warts. body. <laughs> Body warts. Body warts. <laughs> and warm infection. <coughs> warm infection. And today what we're talking about is sweet basil. Oh, yeah. I was very surprised <laughs> to find out. Now, we got to be careful because there's crossbreeds okay. out there, too. There's crossbreeds of 36 different varieties. Yeah. Varieties. <laughs> different kinds of basil. Basil. <laughs> okay. Today, this is about sweet basil. Okay. Um, and to follow up, the tincture will also help you to lower your blood sugar levels, lower your blood pressure. So it's also used, and this surprised both of us, for snake and insect bites. May I have to look a little bit deeper if I can make a cream? I'm sure I can make a cream out of the oil if I infuse oil, um, because I don't think you should put the tincture on a snake bite or an insect bite. But especially for insect bites and such, we have our mosquito bite cream. So the... Other thing you can do, I put this aside, is you can dry the, her the herbs, the herbs, the basil herbs like this. And 
if it's dry, mm, you, you should, they should bring up a camera that you can no. <laughs> smell it. Yeah, it smells like an Italian kitchen here. And what I do did for us in the kitchen is um, we, the dried basil, we grind, grind, grind it here grind in it. the grinder. Or if you don't have the professional one, you can use a coffee grinder or whatever you have. And then you have this powder. So you can use this for cooking or when I make capsules, what I didn't have done yet, this would be in the capsules. So it's powderized basil. So to make a basil tea, you dry the basil and you go ahead and when it's dry, you put it, I would say, b between your hands so it's a little bit, so you don't have the whole leaves. You can, of course, if you have basil at home, you can go ahead and use the fresh leaves. But most of the time, the fresh leaves you have to use really, really fast. You see, I have them in water. Um, otherwise, they are getting wrinkly. Well, and welk, you said? Welk or welk. yes. So, so mm, wrinkly. <laughs> and then it's not nice and it doesn't taste. The difference is <coughs> when you use fresh leaf, it has um, kind of a different, stronger taste when you use a fresh one. But the ingredients and the benefits and the... Um, vitamins where in in basil are the same it doesn't matter if it's fresh or if it's dry but making basil tea with fresh leaves takes longer well yeah it takes yeah. longer until you have a nice cup of tea yes um what we are doing and may you saw this on the website we have now nice and beautiful tea tins you want to say beautiful and what we could do or what you could do you can go ahead and store your fresh leaf tea in this container. And as I said, by the way, you can get them here in the store or on our website um, filled with fresh leaf tea. And if you have a special tea, you said, well, oh, I like this, this tin here, but I don't like, for example, the basil tea. Let us know, we can fill this for you with the tea of your choice. So then it will be closed. And then you put the lid on it. And this wouldn't, wouldn't this be nice for Christmas? Or if you have it in your cupboard and say, wow, and we will make a sticker on the bottom so you know what tea is in there. But as I said, it's totally up to you. If you said, I don't like basil tea or we have right now lemon mint tea. Lemon mint um, teas. Then give us a call or, or text us and say, hey, I would like, for example, hmm, hibiscus tea in it. So we can make it for you, fill it up in a nice little tin. And then it's exactly the tea you want. So the different i want to just mention the different if you want to take a capsule what i said i did not make yet they are in the making i have to grind more of the basil if you want to know the difference between a tincture and a capsule the benefits are the same the point is and that's what i always say a tincture is going right in your blood flow so if you have any issue and you want to take a tincture here for example the basil tincture it's going right in your blood flow and the other ones, the capsules, for example, they are not going right in your blood flow. They need the digest digestive process to work. So in the alcohol in the tincture, or if you don't like alcohol, we have tinctures as well um, made with glycerin. Um, the ingredients of the medical plants are observed directly into your bloodstreams. So this is exactly why this any tincture we have or any tincture you need is the best solution for a right away solution to help you with the pain or whatever the reason is you you want to take a tincture so there is one other thing because i told you tinctures and even the tea can lower your blood pressure and your blood blood pressure and blood what is it, blood pressure what is the other the other thing well yeah your blood sugar oh my god blood sugar Brain yep. Throat. Yep. bing 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 <coughs> uh, so the you should not take or you need to control your um, blood sugar and your blood pressure when you drink teas too often or when you really take a, tin a tincture <laughs> a tincture because it can positively affect your blood sugar and your blood pressure but you have to control it because if you're already on normal medication from from your doctor and you take one of this option here the tincture or the tea or the capsules and your blood pressure is dropping down uh, your blood sugar is dropping down on top of the medication you are taking already, then you have to make sure that you talk to your doctor about it. Other than this, let me see. 
No, you can easily grow basil on your own. Like we have here, the little ones, we put them in water and they will get um, roots, I would say within a week or so. And then you can plant them outside or now I would say right now inside the nights, the nights are getting colder and you grow it on your own. That's the positive thing about a lot of these kitchen herbs that you can use or as medical herbs, yeah. you can grow all around in your house, on the window, on the windowsill, meaning you have 365 days of fresh herbs. It doesn't have to be five windowsills, <laughs> one little box, one little box with your different herbs. Can you separate them? Yeah. Or one little, it just pots and it works. We have 365 days a year, our fresh herbs inside, in our greenhouse, and some are even growing out back. Okay. But we have them always fresh. And once you get that taste of always having fresh herbs, oh, I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you will never miss it. Hey, one thing that just came into my mind, which is very important, because on the farmer's market, they ask us for something against uh, constipation. And we know honeysuckle, for example, honeysuckle uh, tincture helps with constipation. The customer is totally happy. She couldn't go for over six days and she took the tincture and she was happy. Said, oh, I could go again. This basil is one of the important things beside all the benefits. Basil tea, basil tincture or the capsules help you to run. Just that you know. <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah, and this time, mm -hmm, I remember, I am your master herbalist, I am not a doctor, and I or we will not give you any medical advice. These are our own experience from our customer, um, friends and family. Have a talk with, with your doctor. Tell him, I hope it works here in America. But tell him, you would like to take more natural stuff. Is it possible to take this and this? Um, and don't forget, <laughs> organically. Grow your stuff, please, at home organically. I think even if we are here in the States, the States are regarding alternative medicine far behind to Europe. Yeah. So in Europe, you have doctors. They even ask you when you go to the doctor's office, they say, OK, I have a headache. For example, I have a headache. And the doctors in Europe, they don't give you painkiller right away. They would say, OK, there is an alternative. For example, um, white, Willow white willow bark. You can take this. It will help. It's an alternative. You will not hear this here in the US from a doctor. So that's like, that. what's the, what do they always take here instead of aspirin? Because a lot of people are oh, aspirin, your kidney, blah, 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 this. They take, what's it called? Ibuprofen. 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 It's oh, yeah. even worse than aspirin because well, it's not getting really, on your but kidney. it does go to your tummy, gets to your kidneys and thing. So, but look up white willow bark. We have a video about it. Check it out. Yeah. You'll just, like it. Just a couple of days. I don't Natural. Know what, what and it works. <laughs> <laughs> with the weather and everything I had and I have really 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 nearly never ever a headache but I had this maybe the stress at work or whatever I had a light headache and I feel it coming and I said hmm, no aspirin no I go I took my white willow bark and it's the one I'm using I opened my tincture took a sip and 10 minutes later and I swear 10 minutes later I was off my headache so it really really works and of course white willow bark we have a pill form too yeah. And a tincture. Correct. Right? Correct. Yeah. I so, think that's it, right? Yes. Do you miss anything? So please have fun at home. <laughs> Give us information. Let us know how it went at home, making your tinctures, making your tea. Again, when you're having problems, when you pick the fresh leaves, don't pick the big ones, the nice young small ones. Okay. How to dry it. Yes, we have dehydrator. Or don't have air. that at home or air dried. Don't have that at home. Take here. Baking paper, lay it in your oven, take your basil, lay it out, dry it that way. And then your coffee grinder. There is other handstone mill. Well, the old fashioned. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I'm sure you could, with the stone, you could even get it down to this mule, what do you say, muling it? Stone. Grinding. Grinding it, <laughs> yeah. But with the tea, once it's dry, the same thing. Just take it off of your baking sheet, okay? And maybe just over a big plate or something. Just crack it all up and you're fine. And then you have a wonderful tea. And again, maybe it's themed for Christmas. Tell us what tea you would like in this beautiful tin, tea tin, and we fill it up for you and then you can get it from us. All right. And of course, like and subscribe to our videos. 
and let us always know if you made this a lot of people doing it already we love it yeah. okay and ask her okay should i put so much in we try every time to put the recipe in there i forgot it one time my fault i i put it in later <laughs> but it's there now but anytime let us know how it went okay let us know your experience let us know how we can help and let us know what we can learn from you yeah yeah i think that's it love and light love and light to y'all ken and ute from ute server which whoops not which ute server corner boom boom <laughs> see ya bye bye